Alright, so we're back for the second GameStop Retro Package, and I did wait for a Retro Flash sale on GameStop's website this time. So I, I think I got a pretty good deal, and I follow Cheap Ass Gamer, they tweeted the deal, and with that deal, they provided a coupon code. So I got an additional 16% off, so a great tip if you want to try buying off of GameStop's Retro page. Follow Cheap Ass Gamer, and you can get a coupon code too. It'll be even cheaper, which definitely helps because, again, $6 shipping is, it kind of kills the deal in itself. So, let's see what I bought. Alright, so what we got was Breath of Fire 3 and Bomberman World on the PS1. And Breath of Fire was 17 bucks. Bomberman World was 8 Shipping was $6, which kind of hurt the value, but the both of those prices had the 16% off from the cheap-ass gamer code. So, I, I guess having that coupon kind of put a dent into the shipping cost. Anyways, Breath of Fire 3 is about a $40 game complete in box, and Bomberman World is about a $25 game complete in box. So, assuming that I got both of these complete in box, that kind of makes this a pretty good deal for buying off of GameStop. So, let's see how everything came in. Alright, so first up we got Breath of Fire 3. Disc only, so that was, that was kind of a kick in one of my nuts. Let's see, Bomberman World. That is also disc only. So, GameStop made sure they kicked me in both of my nuts and they ran away with my money. I, I knew this was kind of a gamble from the start because you're not guaranteed to get those items to have a complete in box status, but you're, you're paying a lower price. So, is it worth it for that gamble? It, I guess it's that's purely subjective. I, I thought it was worth it. I still do think it's kind of worth it because... I, I have seen it worked out in people's favor before with really rare games. So, I mean, that's great for them. I, it just didn't work out for me this time. All right, so Breath of Fire. I don't know if you can, this can really focus, but there's a few areas where it looks like there's some scuff marks. I'm trying to zoom in on one of them. That was a little disappointing. I'm not sure what's going on with the uh, inner ring. Bomberman World looks a little better. But maybe it's just because it's darker colors. And let's see. The disc itself, they buffed the hell out of these things. So I'm, I'm sure they probably work. They're just really scuffed up from being buffed. I've thought a lot about what I want to do with these discs because I'm not too happy they came in disc only and they're not, I mean they're probably in playable condition, they're just not in the condition I'd like them to be in. But the thing is, it was still a good deal and these are both games I want to play. So my options are return it to GameStop and lose $6 shipping. I could sell them on eBay, I might get back my money, probably lose maybe a dollar or two, I, I bet I could get that much back at least. Or just keep them disc only. The thing is, like I like I said, I do want to play these games, so I decided I will keep these. Maybe I can upgrade in the future. But overall, with this GameStop retro package, I'd rate it probably a 2 out of 10. It's pretty disappointing. These aren't in the greatest condition. Didn't come with anything else. And GameStop kicked me in the nuts. So, there you have it. I'll see you for the next GameStop Retro Package if I see the opportunity to buy something.